I have Joseph and Deborah with me, and they are uh, the leaders of Shelter Home Orphanage there. And uh, uh, we have been supporting them for almost two, three years, I think. I don't remember. Martin spearheads the thing. And uh, it is good to um, uh, be there. Yesterday, we had a very good time. I'm going to ask uh, Joseph, he has a very wonderful story uh, as to how he became a, uh, the part of Shelter Home and married the girl for Shelter Home. <laughs> it's a big story, but his story is very interesting. So I would like for him to share. So this is, uh, his, his name was is Raj and uh, before he became Joseph, he worked actually for, uh, as a representative for a Hindu militant group called RSS and uh, they are bent upon uh, eliminating the Christians in India and because the foreign religion and clean up India with the Hinduism that's what he was a part of. He was a leader for seven villages and he was responsible and he was a very hard working person uh, for this uh, radical militant group. Mm. Okay so he uh, he slowly, right from uh, eighth grade, he wanted to be a model for this militant organization. And uh, he used a lot of uh, his resources and even the funding he had in order to rise up more militant leaders. So he started uh, four uh, organizations, computer institutes to train people and so that he can generate income to support this uh, militant uh, group and this Hindu radical uh, thing. And the government promised him money for that, you know, to do this job. But all of a sudden it went uh, backfired on him and uh, all of a sudden he lost all the money and he got into big financial troubles. Since he lost everything, everything that he invested is gone uh, and uh, he for 17 days didn't have any food. He just lived off water and he couldn't even pay the electricity bill or anything and uh, he was thinking about committing suicide. He, uh, he worshipped a Hindu deity called Shiva and he fasted and prayed to the deity but even there he didn't get any help. Mm, okay, so he was living in fear, he was living in this orphanage and uh, uh, he was living in his place uh, completely alone, uh, downcast but above his place where he lived was his orphanage and he asked uh, uh, the people there because he's afraid now for his life he wanted uh, somebody to come and stay with him to sleep uh, in his room or something so that he would not be afraid. So he was living downstairs, the orphanage was upstairs, he was in the lowest point of his life. But the orphanage uh, lady there, uh, she was concerned because he belongs to a militant group. Is he there to destroy the orphanage or is he, what is he up to? So they prayed for 45 days uh, in order to know the will of God. He should either become a Christian or need to leave the place because it is very disastrous for them upstairs, right? Mm. So they sent two orphans to stay with him because he was afraid. And two of those guys used to come after supper at 8 at night and they used to pray for half an hour. And he used to bother him and he used to walk outside and he used to say, I shouldn't have asked these guys. But those two guys were praying constantly. Who is that, Joseph and Nehemiah? Uh, James. James and Nehemiah. Are they still there? James is there. James is there, okay. So they used to, uh, he used to wonder as to how are these kids surviving uh, without any support or anything, how are they living? Uh, so extraordinarily and uh, he began to see their faith yeah so he 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 always used to think because uh, because of the organization he was with that these people are get the foreign funding and they're meant to convert everybody into christians so he didn't like that so he was very upset uh, with the lady you know, who was running the orphanage and he wanted, he he left okay so uh, so he tried to argue with the lady a few times but he was very Disappointed, he tried to convert her, but it didn't happen. So, but these uh, one day these kids came again, uh, J James and Nehemiah, in his room, and they, they were praying. And after they slept around 12:31, he decided uh, Joseph, this Joseph decided, okay, now I'm going to try uh, praying. Let's try every God. So let's start with Christ, and he, he wanted to pray. Okay. So he said uh, he asked, he's like, okay, nobody supported me. If you're real. Uh, help me. So that's what he prayed and he slept. So the next day morning somebody came to his house and knocked and said uh, 
is there Raju living here? He said, no, he doesn't live here. He lied and he said he lives down the street. So, but he followed him and see where he's going. But that man turned around and said, you lied. Uh, you are the same guy. You look like that. You got a beard and everything. And, but he still lied again. And he said, oh, I'm not the guy, but let's talk. Okay. So he started, this man came, actually wanted to start a business with him. And all of a sudden, he began to see prayers being answered. So he told uh, uh, the lady who runs the orphanage that this is what is happening. And all of a sudden, she was happy for him. And he was happy that she was happy. <laughs> right? So all of a sudden, he began to read the Bible. He got a Bible, started reading it. And slowly but surely, his questions began to get answered. And he gave his life to Christ. So Joseph, uh, after he became a Christian, yeah, he, his family... He said he's not going to participate in everything that his family does and all this Hinduism and idols and everything. He left the militant group and everything because of which he was beaten very badly. And they kind of, all of a sudden, they began very uh, uh, abusing him a lot. Uh, but he didn't forsake Christ and he still stands for him today and he still gets persecuted today. Yeah. Yes, so then one day as he kept growing, you know, he began to ask God and he heard a voice one day said, you need to be a new creation. You are a new creation. So he was thinking, what is new creation? Then he fell and he had a vision for 45 minutes. And uh, he has seen what's happening with Christians and all the abuse and all that stuff. And uh, then God began to fulfill his calling. And then he realized that he needs to get baptized and all that. So he got baptized as well. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> quick story. It's a very quick story. There's a lot to it. Uh, but so, uh, so many things. Are there. Mm, so many things. Actually, I have a lot of faith in the church. I have a lot of faith in the church. So, Joseph, actually, the whole wit- he witnessed the whole orphan situation. Right from being a Hindu militant to watching how these kids lived by faith and how God worked. And today, he married the daughter of uh, the lady he used to talk to. Right, and uh, they both are now leading this ministry, and uh, he had the best training when it comes to faith. Yes. So they both are living by faith month after month, and uh, that's the story of Shelter Home. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, and that's Deborah. And uh, so they both are doing a fantastic job, and uh, it's also good to hear Joseph's story, right? Mm-hmm. And how God can change anyone, right? Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>